everyone. Today's video, I'm going to be giving a, a Swedish massage on the back and the head and neck. And I'll be demonstrating this today on my brother Daniel here. And I'm going to start off by doing some light compressions on the back. And the arms just to get the blood flow going. And I like to go down along the spine on both sides and push at the sacrum. And I really like working at the scapulas just to get the joint rotation going. Pushing down here at the shoulders on both sides. I find that during the winter a lot of people become tense on the shoulders so it's important to stretch that down. Okay, now once you have the back open here you can also continue to do some compressions. Probably be a little bit firmer at this point. Not to tickle the client. But you can also begin by doing some skin rolling. And uh, some people may not like this method, but this really gets the blood flowing. in the tissue. And you just continue doing that on all sides. You can start with a simple effleurage sweep, but at this point I'm going to begin using my oil to make this easier. And at this point my hands are generally becoming quite warm so that creates more comfort just spreading the oils creating different sweeping strokes I like to go down the arms as well. A lot of people forget to work on the triceps. I'm going to do some petrissage strokes. This is typically called the C stroke. And 
this really makes the tissue become more pliable for massage. Stretch that shoulder joint. And I can continue working on the other side. Doing the same thing. So create some cross fiber friction along the spine using my knuckles and then going down to the iliums and bring it back up. Loosen those up, those tight adhesions. Many people typically have a lot of adhesions along the scapula as well, so I like to use a method called stri stripping along that point. Just working my thumbs deep in there. And use a sort of a karate chop hand mechanism. Then circular friction. right along the base. I'm going to go in here in the upper traps, working a bit more firmly there. Working on the rhomboids, these muscles tend to be tense as well. And you see some redness here on the back that just means that there's more blood flow to that area, it's a good thing.
because the lower back gets really tight from a lot of sitting. Typically jobs such as office work require more work on the lower back. Trying to reach areas like the quadratus lumborum. So as major and minor and the erectors along the spine. So these require a lot of uh, stripping work as well to separate each muscle. Client is down here. I typically like to work on the neck as well, just grasping motion. And lifting with my fingers. Pushing down, separating muscle fibers even more. Okay. And gently place my hands on any position that I feel necessary. and take my hands off the floor. And now we're going to work on the head and neck. Typically, I like to begin this part of the session by doing some compressions on the shoulders. This tends to feel really nice for a lot of people. And when I uncover the sheet, I would like to expose the clavicles for this portion of the massage. So, I'm just going to tuck that in there. Right. And after that, I'm going to apply some oil. I'm going to work on the muscles here. And down where the traps are, and the head and neck. There are a lot of muscles near the base of the skull that are really good for headaches. And again, people who sit a lot, this area is really great. Lifting the upper trapezius and creating a pinching motion. Work that area more efficiently. And, uh, typically at this point, and work the muscles and stretch them furthermore so that they may elongate on both sides and create less tension. 
working on the scalenes and the levator scapula as well as more erectus. Trying to avoid this area where the brachial artery and carotid artery pass. And I'm going to work on the other side. You can use your thumbs or your knuckles at this point. normal position as I do some pulling on the neck up to the head near the occiput doing some last minute stretching pulls compressing my thumbs along the base of the cervicals as I pull up towards the occipital region and near the temporal, around the frontal, the parietal. And I like to end the head and neck massage typically on the occiput and I just hold my fingers there for a little while. They go up along the ears, work in the temples, work on the head, this area tends to get really tense from daily facial expressions, so I like to pull it up here, stretch it out, I find that pinching the eyebrows also helps with relaxation and relieving headaches, I like to do some tapping under the eyes all around. I'm going to do some light scalp massage here before I finish it off. I find that just some light tugging. It's a nice soothing effect for a finish. I can just hold at the cranium for a few seconds and then gently release. 
was, I think, my client. Thank you.